Hi, I'm Paula from MemakeyThings.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a handmade Halloween felt bag. I have one right here that I made from scratch by hand and I'm going to show you how I did this today. So when I did put this together, I decided to whip stitch all the edges and that actually is fairly time consuming. So I decided to show you the same pattern, but I'm going to show you how you can glue it together with a glue gun. I made this little one right here, which you could use as a little candy favor bag, but you can see that the glue actually holds it together rather well. And this, the pattern that I'm going to show you, or the method I'm going to show you, um, you can either stitch it or you can glue it. Either one is fine. So these uh, felt squares you can buy in the craft store or a fabric store sometimes. Um, I'm not sure what the actual size is, but they're this is one piece cut off and they're kind of a, a long rectangle like this. So what I did is I just measured a three inches in on the edge of there and I cut three lengths that are three inches off the edge of the standard rectangle that they come in. So then I have, I have well I actually had three of these, but I have two sides. These are my two sides and these are the two sides and the bottom. So I'm going to show you, I have my glue gun over here, how easy this is to glue together. Okay, so all I did for starters, you want to go, go, this is how this goes together here. This is the side here. So I'm going to run a line of glue just right along here. Try not to glue my table. And then be careful the glue is hot. Let's lay it down on there and kind of pat it, press it. And then I'm going to let, put my other side on same way. The glue dries well as fast as it cools. That's how it's pretty uh, sturdy as soon as it cools. You don't want to pull on it too hard though. Then the next, I'm going to put the other side on the other large side. So see this goes together much quicker than sewing it, but if you like the look of the decorative stitching, it's kind of a fun thing to do while you're watching TV. But if you need to make a Halloween bag for your kid to go trick-or-treating tonight, this is the fast way to do it. Okay, now I've got my four sides together here. I'm going to put my bottom in here. Now the, this piece is the same length as these sides, which will be just a little bit too long for the bottom, but I'll show you how to trim that in a minute. So I'm just going to want to put a little glue inside there. This is exactly the same way that you would sew it together. Do one of the ends first and then do one of the sides. You want to make sure you get in the right spot <laughs> because once you glue this down it wants to stay. Actually, this one ended up almost, I might have, 
This actually is pretty close. Sometimes I do these, they're a little bit long. That's only a, just a teeny bit too long there. So I'm just gonna trim that off. And then I'm gonna, see so we have our bottom forming there. I'm going to do this end right here. And then one last side there. And make sure you don't leave any holes because you don't want any of their candy to fall out. Or maybe you do. All right. So to do the handles, you want to take, this is the full length of those rectangles that you get in the craft store. And if you, if you divide it into four equal pieces, you will have this length right here. And all you wanna do for this is fold it in half, glue that down. This will make a little bit more of a stronger handle than if you just had a single length of fabric. I'm going to show you where to put it here. Uh, you may think that you want to put it on the end here, but that's not where you want to put it because when it fills up, it's going to sag out like that. So what you want to do is you want to put it on the long side here and you want to go in about two inches and maybe about an inch or two down. That's about an inch really. And then you want to pull this around and fasten the other side just the same way. And then you would do your other handle in the same manner. And I'm going to show you really quick here a uh, how to um, do a jack-o-lantern face. And uh, what you would do is trace the design that you want or draw it out on freezer paper. And that is just the freezer paper that you can get in any grocery store. Uh, it looks like paper on one side and it's kind of plastic on the other side. And when you iron um, it onto felt with a hot iron, it sticks down like this. And then after you cut your piece out, you can pull it off. I'll cut it out there really quick. It's just my last eye that I had there. And then it comes off really easily just like that. So then we can glue together. Let's see I have my other eyes there. And we'll glue this on very quickly. And we'll have a jack-o-lantern bag. my nose and I'm starting to run out of glue here got some more right there these projects take a lot of glue so you want to make sure you have a lot on hand I'm just doing this really quickly but again you would probably want to take a little bit more time to get things nice and even but that is going to stick once that glue cools. There you have it. That is how to make a handmade felt Halloween bag. This is Paula from MeMakeyThings.com. Have a great day.